What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with the NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Monday, November 21st. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. You got to follow me at Josh Engelman on Twitter. That's the best place you're going to find anything that I'm doing. Uh, let me know in the comment section, who are your favorite plays today? Who are your least favorite plays? What do you like? What do you dislike? I want to know what you guys got. And then finally, we got to talk about BetMGM. They are the sponsor of this video. We've got a World Cup themed edition of this promo for today. Click the link in the description. If you're new to sports betting and you are in a legal betting state, bet $10 on any one of the games that are going to be played today or tomorrow, whatever day that you're doing this, bet $10 on a soccer game. You will get $200 in free bets so long as anyone, not just for your team, not just in your game, so long as anyone scores a goal today, you will get those 200 free dollars. Now, we are going to round out the bottom of my top 10 with Zach Levine, Emmanuel Quickly, Nikola Vucevic, Anthony Edwards, and Jalen Williams on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, I'm going to Brandon Ingram. Shooting guard eligible, 8,200. Projected for 43. The goal is 51. He's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. 36 minutes against the not so great right now Golden State Warriors defense. Pace up spot too. Two and a half possessions over their average. You get a standard BI game. 1.15 fantasy points per minute. Big usage, 27%. 23 points, six and a half boards, five and a half assists, a stock and a half. Everything just sort of looks good here. I like the matchup. It doesn't seem like it should be a good Golden State matchup, but it is. The pace is good. The Warriors defense isn't all that interesting. You would hope that Brandon Ingram has an MPE. Unfortunately, he doesn't, but that didn't stop him from getting to fifth. In at number four, we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Point guard eligible 10K, projected for 51 and a half. The goal is 60. He's in the optimal lineup 17% of the time. Shea's just incredible. He's a 1.4 fantasy point per minute guy. This is a massive pace up spot. Actually, if we're being honest, I got him closer to 1.5 today in this pace up spot against the Knicks. 35 minutes, 32% usage, and 30 real points, plus five rebounds, six assists, two and a half stocks. This guy's doing everything. He's a top 10 guy in fantasy points per minute right now. 10K is just not enough for Shea Gildas Alexander. And that's why you see him ranked so highly. He is easy to get to today. Speaking of guys that are pretty easy to get to, Anthony Simons in at number three. Dan Lillard going to be out for two weeks or so. So point guard, shooting guard eligibility on Simons, 7,400. Projected for 39. The goal is 47. He's in the optimal lineup 18% of the time. Simons is going to play 36 minutes or more. He's going to be like a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy. Massive usage bump when Dame is off. 30% usage here for Simons. 24 real points, five assists, three and a half boards. Maybe you get a stock. It's pace neutral against Milwaukee, and they are pretty big underdogs. But if this game stays competitive and Simons can get his 36 minutes, he is going to look fantastic until that price rises with Dame out. At number two, we're getting some value with Taylor Horton Tucker, shooting guard small forward eligible, 3,700. So you also get him at guard forward and utility. Projected for 25 and a half, the goal is 28 and a half. He's in the optimal line of 20% of the time. Mike Conley going to be out for uh, at least a little bit. Uh, he injured his ankle, knee, one of the two. He's definitely injured his leg in some way. We saw Taylor Horton Tucker get big minutes after Conley got hurt. I'm a little bit more pessimistic with the minutes for today, but it doesn't really matter. He still gets to second. 28 minutes, 0.9 fantasy points per minute, 11 points, five boards, and four assists, plus almost two stocks. It's a pace down spot against the Clippers, but that's fine. Taylor Horton Tucker's priced like he normally is, but he's going to play, I don't know, at least 26 minutes and upwards of 32, 34 if he starts. At this price tag, with this eligibility, he's so simple to get to. You don't need to overthink it. Just put him in your lineups. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. You gotta follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. I need you to let me know in the comment section who your favorite plays are and then go check out BetMGM using the link in the description. Your number one contender for today is easy. Assuming Cam Reddish is out, Quentin Grimes is that guy. He's shooting guard, small forward eligible. So you get guard forward and utility. Five of the eight spots. He is the flat 3K. He's the minimum salary. Projected for 25. The goal is 25. He's in the optimal lineup 29% of the time. He played 32 minutes and didn't get blowout run. 
in this start yesterday when Reddish was out. Now, assuming Reddish is still out, I gave him 32 minutes, but he could play 36 in this spot. He's a .78 fantasy point per minute guy, 16% usage, 12 points, four and a half boards, two and a half assists, a stock and a half. But it's the Oklahoma City Thunder on the opposite side, and it's close to three additional possessions over their average. It's a pace up spot. This one's just simple. If Reddish is out, Grimes is starting, and then Grimes is playing 30 minutes. To get a guy that plays 30 minutes a game, at least at the flat minimum, with the best position you can get, that is the recipe for being the number one contender. All righty, folks, that will. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Monday, November 21st. FanDuel version's around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. Back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.